Hey everyone, so I finally broke down and decided to get a new punch down tool. This is my old one. I've had it since the late 90s. This is a Harris Dracon. It's uh, seen a lot of miles. It's got this black tape on here because I've dropped it enough time that the casing started to crack and come undone. It's actually it's amazing it kept on going even after that. So, um, so I went online to try to find the closest thing I could to replacing this. I guess Harris... From what I could tell, it looks like Harris sold off that division to Fluke. So if somebody else knows better, please leave a comment so we can all be more informed. But from what I could tell, Fluke now makes the uh, the you know the equivalent replacement. So I'm going to open up this clamshell and see how this is a little bit different from this old guy here. Okay, so here's the punch tool, and let's see how that compares to the old one. The new one feels a little more rounded. The edges on this seem a little more more squared. So, but roughly about the same same footprint. Probably a little thinner down here than it is on this one. Okay, comes with two bits. We've got a uh, 66 bit with a non-cut side. Cut side, little plastic caps. Not sure. Maybe that was to protect it during shipping. And then the 110, non cut, cut side. Now I kind of like that they got this silvery color. It might make it a little bit easier to find. And then the black sometimes in a tool bag can be a little, a little tough to spot. See, the old ones were black. So now here will be interesting to see is if this will fit in this other one, which I'm hoping it will. So. All right, so let's see. Now there are a couple new things. So there's this this little tool bit here. It's a Phillips on one side, flat blade on the other side. That is a pretty cool space saving idea. I just don't know if in reality if I'll end up using this as a screwdriver. You know, for instance, it's not. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's kind of fat right here. Whereas I, I have a, a orange screwdriver that's got kind of a long silver shank on it. So which gives me more, you know, that, that skinny approach. So we'll see how that works out. Plus the other problem there is here is that there is no place to store this because if the 66 is going to go back here and at the 110, say, if any given time, you know, another bit slipping here, then it's like, well, where does this go then? I mean, I guess if I'm wearing a tool pouch or something, I could find some little, little you know, pocket to, to stick that in, but... I could see this not being handily available when I need it. All right, so there's our comparison here. Oh, actually this one's a little bit longer. Okay. But same controls, you know, for high impact, low impact. You got your blade release. I say that, there it goes, yep. There's your blade release. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. Can I use this bit? in the new tool. I'm hoping the answer is yes. Not that it really matters. I don't know that I need to have an extra, but looks like the answer is yes. So the old bits from the old 1990s punch tool fit in the new one. So that's pretty cool. Very cool. So I guess now I've kind of got backups. Now this is interesting that they've got kind of these open, I don't know what you call it, like, you know, spaces or vents in there and I don't know if that was just some bookkeeper's idea on how to save money by using less metal so hopefully it doesn't make it any less strong I don't think there's a tremendous amount of stress that goes on here that would cause this one to break before this one would so all right now here is something else that's new is they got this little spudgy tool on the side or in the field we sometimes call this a booger pick and the thing that I'm not Okay, it is. It's 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 coated. I was gonna say it looks like it's steel, but actually it's it's kind of like a steel with some kind of a plastic or nylon coating on it. Because what you use this for is to reach in into like a sixty-six block and to kind of pull a wire out of its out of its socket. 
um, but if it's steel, the problem is it'll it'll break it'll break through that uh, wire coating. But that feels like it's got like a plastic coating on it, so that's good to know. Right, so it just tucks in there on the side like a little pocket knife thing there. All right, so that's my new Fluke D914 impact tool. If you're interested in getting one of these, I'll leave a link down there in the description. So, uh, but you can find these pretty easily yourself by just doing a search. All right, thanks so much for watching.